So let's get two things straight. Number one, okay. this is our property. Okay, whose property is it? This is the public's property. Okay, Where who pays for it? I'm doing an investigative story on this police department. Why? What are you investigating? I can't. I can't get into the details. Oh, okay. Top secret FBI stuff. Yeah, Tip no, they didn't secret. say that. James Bond kind of stuff. No, that's apparently da, you guys. Da, da. Welcome back to Weeded People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is being brought to you by one of the channels that's quickly becoming my favorite, and that's the Rowdy Podcast. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you go and do so. Today, we're taking a look at the Robinsondale, Minnesota Police Department. For some strange reason, I felt like we just finished doing this. What is this, you ask? Educating police that the police department does not belong to them, but it belongs to the people, the public, we the people. We're going to take a look at a young police officer who comes up with the same attitude, as if the police department only belongs to the police. He has has no clue that it belongs to the public, but he's about to get educated. But what's also bad about this video is that this young officer has a very, very arrogant attitude. But let's not do too much talking right now. Let's jump into this video and we'll help educate him later. What's that? Can we help you? I'm uh, just looking around, filming. Okay, this is a uh, parking lot, so... We'll oh, there's no there. signs and stuff there like that. There is actually right there. What's the sign say? You can go read it. Okay, sure. Uh, it doesn't Hello. say anything about no pedestrians back here, though. Okay, well, it's kind of... Police vehicle right. parking only. Yep. So this state's parking only for police vehicles. It doesn't state no trespassing. Here. Police, fire, public works. That's not correct. That is correct. That's, I'm telling you What's it your is. name in back? I don't care what you say. Officer Tom Zickbatch, 3831. Okay. Good. So let's get two things straight. Number one, okay. this is our property. Okay, whose property is it? This is the public's property. Okay, where do Who you pays live? for it? Where do you live? Who pays for it? Where do you live? I'm not going to give you that information because okay, I'm well, not required not, to. If you're not a resident of Robinsville, you don't pay for it. That's number one. You don't know if I am or not. I just asked you. You, need to, you didn't answer. I don't need to answer you. Okay. You answer me. This is how this works. I ask uh, the question. I don't question. tell me how to do my job, please. Well, then do your job correctly and I wouldn't have okay. to. See, well, normally. Back here. Well, that's not correct. So let's it go talk correct. to the supervisor. My captain's right there. You want to get captain? Yeah, let's get him. Well, I can't let you walk back here, so you're going to stop right this, there. This says that it's police vehicle parking only. I'm glad you can read. So what's the problem? You're not allowed back here. If there is no sign that says it, and it's you're public property. Op this says parking. I'm yeah. not in a vehicle. You're not allowed back here. It's trespassing. Okay. It's not trespassing. Yes, you can't is. trespass from public property when I'm doing a story. So this never fails. Police officers never know the difference between public and private property. We're going to help them out one more time. Government properties, which are also public property, consist of land or assets owned by federal, state, or local governments, and may also include government agencies or government-sponsored organizations such as libraries or parks. Government-owned property refers to land or other assets that are legally owned by a government or government entity. Government-owned property may be titled at the federal, state, or local level and may or may not allow unrestricted public access. And as we see, there are no restricted access signs anywhere. Some government owned properties constitute public goods such as parks, libraries, roads, and sidewalks. So all of these properties we just named, plus some more, they're owned by the government, which means they're actually owned by the people. We the people, the public. Okay. You can't do that. What story are you doing? I'm doing an investigative story on this police department. Why? What are you investigating? I can't, I can't get into the details. Oh, okay. Top secret FBI stuff? Yeah, Tip no, they didn't secret. say that. James Bond kind of stuff? No, that's apparently da, you guys. Da, da. That kind of stuff? I'm going to ask you to stay six feet away from me. I am six feet. Okay, so I'm nowhere near six feet tall, so I don't know how far that is. So I'm doing my best guess right now. I know you don't know what six feet is, but that's okay. Yeah, it is. You're the only one that wanted to come out here and be a jerk. They're right there. I said come out here and be a jerk. Pay attention to the words that I'm like using. You're not. You're being okay, a well, dick with an you attitude. Get off and you wouldn't get off, and then now you're I explained to you that this sign talks about vehicles. Okay, well. It doesn't say anything about no trespassing, right. private access, authorized personnel only. None of those things are on here. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So we should get a bullet point list and put it on there for you. Well, it would be a simple authorized personnel only would cover both the vehicles plus the people, right? Yeah, that's pretty much what that says. It definitely doesn't, because remember how we talked about reading? You made the comment yep. to me, I'm glad you can read. So I'm going to hopefully help you now. Okay, teach you how to read, please. Okay, so this says police. Police. Vehicles. Uh-huh. Parking only. Wouldn't you, how old are you, sir? Uh, that doesn't matter. Okay, but are you old enough? Are you over 20? Of course I am. Okay. So would you think if this, if it were to say police personnel only, then I wouldn't come back here. So do you think police vehicle only? If we took out the parking, police vehicle only, would that make sense to you? Uh, that would mean that I can only drive back here if I had a police vehicle. Yeah. So you can only again drive. talking about vehicles. Okay. The problem here is the vehicle. This is this is clear. You can't so misconstrue took, this. Hang on. So if we took out vehicle and I said police parking, still parking separate, related to vehicle. Are we talking about vehicles or people? Still only related to vehicles. So if you said vehicle. police personnel or authorized okay. personnel even, that would all make sense. But you're not doing that. And then you want to be a dick to me about it. Like you I'm got something to prove. I'm not being a D word. I don't swear. I'm not That's being That's good. A I'm happy you don't. And the thing is too, is normally I'm super professional, but I've kind of just had it today. Okay. What, what, what put you over the edge? You. Me? Specifically. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not part of Black Lives Matter. I'm not part of the BS that's been going on. I'm a First Amendment auditor, and I'm going to complete my task, and okay. I'm going to investigate this hey. department, whether you like it or I'm not. I'm not accusing you of anything. I just said you're trespassing. I'm not trespassing. trespassing. You can't trespass me from public property. It's not possible. You also don't have a sign that says authorized personnel. So I'm going to go on this property. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. It's not up to you. It is at this point. So let me see your ID as well. All right. You be blessed, sir. AKS. So I'm good to be back here, right? Huh? I'm good to be back here, right? I, I, I'm not going to damage anything. I'd like to speak to your captain, though, please. Okay, he's in a meeting right now. I will so wait. You want to leave your name no. and a number? I will wait. Okay. I don't know how long he's going to be. Well, I need to know what just resolved that. What happened? Okay. All right. Well, like I said, he's in a meeting, so I don't know how long it'll be. Okay. Can I get some information so I can contact him at a later time? Do you want to go to the front? Sure. Again, the Rowdy Podcast is quickly becoming one of my favorite channels to watch. Make sure you go over and subscribe to his channel. Also, go back and check out the entire video on his channel. The link is down below. But as we saw, these officers had no clue of the law. Someone inside the police department sent the message out, hey, he's allowed to record. There are no restricted access signs anywhere. And I'm pretty sure the young, arrogant cop, he was walking inside very butthurt. But that's what happens when you know your rights. Make sure you know your rights. Down below is a link to my free ebook. Make sure you download it or you can click the link above my head. Make sure you know your rights so you're never caught when you encounter the police not knowing what to do. And if you're really serious, about learning your rights, make sure you register for my online video course properly titled Surviving the Police. It's going to teach you in detail what you can and cannot do when you encounter the police and what the police can and can't do. So it's going to prepare you and make sure you're ready for every encounter so that your rights are not violated. Learn your rights. With that being said, we the People University signing off.